Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here again with another lot. Uh, this one is from a Goodwill, uh, the one from San Francisco, and but this was for their eBay uh, store. Um, ended up paying 480 and some shipping. Let's call it 493. Um, one thing that I really liked about this lot is that they laid out uh, pretty much everything so that you could see it. Uh, and then the one thing that I did not like about this lot is that they laid everything out so you could see it. So that basically makes it um, in an auction where everyone can see what they're getting. Um, you can really f look uh, close if you want and kind of count these all up and see exactly what you're getting. Um, in here, if you look real close, are some pretty nice goodies. And then some other stuff that's actually all weaved through that's not that exciting. Um, you can see there's a nice big one right there. So that's kind of what we're going for here. Um, kind of want to leave a little bit of mystery just for you guys uh, as I go through this. Um, anyone who saw this auction and bid on it would have looked really close and hopefully seen some good stuff. That's kind of what I did. Um, honestly, I'm surprised it went for this amount. Um, this was um, just under where my maximum would have been. Uh, I didn't want to go uh, really much more than that. Um, and the main reason for that is that here uh, in the listing, the Goodwill of San Francisco, they do tell you uh, that there's near mint, slightly played, and moderately played cards. So that's really where the gamble is here, is what's the condition on a lot of this stuff. Um, if it's all near, all near mint, then we're golden. Um, it's probably not going to be. I'm not expecting it to be. The other thing, too, I'm a little suspicious. Um, I've actually gotten hosed by the Goodwill of San Francisco before. Uh, I would not buy lots from them that look uh, rubber banded together with uh, older cards on the top because when you get them, they're going to be one older card and newer cards in a stack underneath it, a bunch of commons. So I actually had resolved not to buy from them anymore, but this lot is pretty interesting. So I'll go through. The pictures here real quick you can pause and see that there's some goodies in there i actually kind of want to keep a little bit of mystery um, for when i open this up so uh, as always i'm gambling here um, hopefully i can break at 493 and then some um, and we'll see how we do let's open the box all right here's the box from e-commerce department in San Francisco, right? So, how good is this gonna turn out? I think a lot of those like baubles and the dark steel ingots, to me, that seemed like something that Goodwill themselves might have thought was good and wanted to include in this lot. This, it didn't really feel like to me that this was a binder that would be put together by a, a serious collector. Uh, it almost seems like these are good cards that came into Goodwill over time and they've just been collecting them in this binder. I'm not sure. Um, like Azorius Chancery here. Like I don't know if you would really put that on the same page here as a Worms of the Earth and a Lord of Atlantis. It's just not organized to me like what a collector or a player would do um, so so far look like they're in pretty good condition we got a card from the dark here necropolis not sure if that's a big one or not there's a mind slaver um, got some legend stuff I'm not expecting to see anything really stand out from legends got some cards and sleeves there's a proteus staff I think there were a couple that I had seen and right here I had seen there was, I think, more than one Horizon Canopy. Come on, let's get in focus here. Um, so there's your little sneak peek. I got a lot to go through on this binder. Um, I'm going to total it all up like I always do and see what I end up with. Um, but just right off the bat here, this stuff looks like it's in pretty good condition. So that's better than what I was hoping for already. So I'll be back soon to go through this properly. Stick around. Okay, everyone, scanning time. Uh, I'm gonna take these out of the sleeves so that they're easier for me to deal with. Um, and I've got uh, my bar set a little bit higher 
this time. I've got the pricing set to TCG player low price. Um, some people have pointed out that TCG market and mid are uh, not realistic prices. I agree. And I do put that information down in my frequently asked questions basically on the every video. But this time I'm going to see how is it actually going to end up if I do set all of this for the low price. And uh, so we can get a pretty accurate description of what it is. And if something is obviously not near mint, I'm going to change it to um, the appropriate condition and see how accurate I can get on my grading, pricing, and list. Um, I'm going to drop down my minimum. Let's go to 50 cents. Um, so anything under 50 cents will not be on the list. Anything over 50 cents will. Um, and hope to break even at least at 493 and then some. Let's find out. Here's a darkness from Time Shifted. 449. Oh, that's the Legends version. It is not that one. It's Time Shifted. Still 499 for a common. And that's TCG Player Low. Um, new feature on the TCG Player app too is that you can sort by um, high to low. You can see the little A to Z there. That's actually really good for me because it's some, a feature that was on Delver Lens, uh, but was never on this app. So I'm really happy to see that. It actually makes life easier for me. I can show this off at the end of all the big hits I got. So anyway, enough rambling. Here we go with some scanning. Hey, another darkness. Bing, we're on our way. Lord of Atlantis from 5th edition. That's a decent little card right there. Sorry, no. Worms of the Earth got two of these and a Necropolis. So, cards from the dark. Uh, not big ones, but it is a rare from the dark. So, those are winners in my book. We're going to get two of those. And a, a Necropolis, which I think is just an uncommon from the dark. So not going to count for, oops, can't pick it up. Uh, my piles other than an old interesting card pile, right? So it's going to come right back up. Okay, first page away. Brushland from 10th edition. That's decent. Yep, five bucks there. So we'll put that over there. Magus of the Future. 99 cents. That's a keeper. Proteus Staff. Yep, 689 as a TCG low. Not bad. But this one, Horizon Canopy. And this is in near mint condition. I would not downgrade that at all. 68.99, our first big hit of this collection right there. Um, it's great. I think there might even be another one in this binder. We'll find out later. Mind Slaver, that Scars of Mirrodin? Yeah, three bucks there. Well, let's have Trick Bind. This is an okay card. Yeah, 380 for the low on that. It's great. Mirror Matrix from Dark Steel. There's a buck there. Okay, getting coming right along. Bitter Ordeal. I love the Future Sight uh, alternate borders. Um, only because you don't see them that often. Not because it's really that great, but it's cool. 699. That's great. I didn't know about that card. I didn't see it in the listing when I poured through the pages. So, um, luckily, even for me, there's a lot going to be a lot of surprises in here. Hopefully, book ninety nine on the surge spanner. Uh, let's 
see here. Mind over matter. Wow, you cannot go wrong with that. 18 bucks. Exodus reserve list card. I'm trying to ruin it by picking it up here. Yeah. Um, I like that one. Pretty sure it's reserve list, right? That's a that's a hit. Prototype portal. Not so much. Okay, I got that page unsleeved. We got Beacon of Creation, buck 50. I think there's one, two, three of those. Right, okay, Birds of Paradise. Never go wrong with those. Different edition. Uh, man, it's been printed a bunch of times. 539. Great, not the weather light. This is a time shifted. Still about the same. 14. Great. Nimbus Maze. That's good. Brushland again and another Horizon Canopy. Um, this one right here. Horizon Canopy. Great. Call of the Herd. No. It says. I don't know if it's rare. Gemstone mine and another Horizon Canopy. And another Gemstone mine. Uh, that's great. I had thought there was three of these in this binder. So there they are. Um, we're well on our way to breaking even. And we'll be done three, four pages. Here we go, more pages. Yeah, that looks pretty good too. All right, Vesuva. <laughs> That's a good card. 2966, that's the low. This thing's gone up quite a bit. Let's see here. That's the low price. See it there? The mid would have been 30 and the market 34. So the trade in is 21 on it. So I'm just going by the low here. That's what it says. Life from the loam. Uh, a different one. Let's see the original Radnica 1093 times two. Very nice. We're almost there. Wildfire. Not gonna count. <laughs> Another Vesuva. Great. But Bing. There we go. Uh, that wildfire was nothing. Lightning Greaves. This should re register a bit. 672. There we go. Uh, and life from the loam. Another 10 bucks there. Next page. Oh, well, this is a good page. You guys see anything good there? Oh my gosh. This was um, the one page that would have grabbed everyone's attention uh, looking at this listing. That's interesting. It's not all double-sided. Okay. There's a good little stack right here. Golgari Signet. Not going to do it. Oops, wrong pile. Doubling Season. 
Very nice. I would still say that's near mint. It's got a couple little nicks on it. And at $49.95, that certainly is a hit. That is fantastic. And that breaks even for us at low price. So we still have, I don't know, 30 pages left to go through this thing. I think this is going to pretty much be the best page. Um, the time bug is probably not going to do anything. A spell sky used to be a great card, and I think it's come down quite a bit. Uh, let's find the other edition. New Phyrexia 672. Um, there it goes there. Oh, that's a good one. And there's a foil mountain. Let's see if I can get that to register. 10th edition land. Foil. Yeah, it's. I can't tell it the Kamigawa version. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm sure it's 55 cents or so. A Wheel of Fortune from Revised. And it is looking pretty sharp. Yeah, got a little nick there. But that, I would. I would confidently call this near mint. There's nothing wrong with the front of it. Um, yeah, this this is just fine. Let's see if we can get the scan. But being 83.49 for a wheel of fortune, we are now in the the positive there. It's great. It's great. Pride of the clouds. Ah, uh, well, let's check it. A buck ninety-seven better than the preprint, and a demonic tutor, another revised, and this one's sharp, totally sharp. This one is just fine. Twenty bucks, another solid keeper. Where do I put it? There we go. Demir House Guard. I don't think that's gonna be anything. No. Mystical tutor from Mirage. Another. It's like perfectly near mint. Yeah, I was expecting um, this whole binder to be full of MP, like really grubbed up cards, but this is absolutely not the case. All this stuff is in perfectly good condition, or you know, almost perfectly good condition, right? I can't complain. A shred memory, just a common. Uh, it's a decent common. I might pull it, try to buy list it. Demir House Guard, no. Blood Moon. This one's from Chronicles, right? Yeah. So that one's got enough of a, a problem there and it's actually you can see it's a little bit bent it's like a bender binder um bend there so i'm gonna with the mm, sp or mp it's enough of a little thing you can feel it there i'm gonna downgrade this all the way down to mp just because of this it's like a crease that's almost all the way through it so let's get it to recognize it first here come on Blood Moon, not the Dark. Chronicles, 1496. Okay, look, 1496. But I'm going to tell it that this is an it. moderately played. Yeah. So it didn't change the price on me. Um, we got to assume that it's going to be down like nine bucks or something, right? Okay. I'm calling it. Um, but it's going to stay on the list there like that. Uh, Windfall from Urza Saga. As an uncommon, is pretty decent. Yeah, buck, uh, different version. Only 99 cents, but it's okay. And a Chrome Mox, solid. Whoops, just throw that anywhere. Really clumsy today. Chrome Mox from Mirrodin. 28 bucks, and this one is there's nothing wrong with this one, so. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I still got a lot left to go through. Um, definitely kind of already hit a lot of the good stuff, but um, I have to have to pause right here, clear this board, and come back to it another time. Okay, I finally have time to continue going through this binder. Um, it's actually been a few days. You can actually see that the uh, prices have um, um, fluctuated a bit. They've gone up a little bit in that amount of time. I'm not sure exactly what went up so much. Uh, let me try sorting this by high to low. Um, I 
think that Wheel of Fortune can't actually see it on the screen there, unfortunately. So looks like Wheel of Fortune may have come down. Horizon Canopy might have gone up. It's uh, hard to tell. So that happens. Prices fluctuate. That's the way it goes. So I'm going to continue scanning. Um, I don't know if you can notice. I actually messed with the settings on my camera finally. And maybe I'll actually look good for a change. Um, but anyway, just more scanning. More looking for decent stuff. Trying to... We've broken even, so we can see how high we can get here. Um, here we go! Uh, okay. Seismic Assault. Bink! Um, what happened? Oh, okay. I can't find it on the list. How much was it? <laughs> was it under 50 cents I gotta look at the okay pause Let's see now I can go sort by name seismic assault okay it was 86 cents so it stays on the list um, we're doing TCG player low <laughs> so uh, we're going down to 50 cents on on this stuff goblin chieftain Buck 70, different edition. Let's put it in there, the M11. $1.50, it stays. It's gonna go in the, the buck or so um, pile. Thought Prison, only seven cents as an uncommon. It comes right back off. Um, Deserted Temple from Odyssey, 11.25. That's a keeper. And a Diabolic Intent, auto also be a keeper six bucks there great so here we go uh grave pack from stronghold awesome 12 bucks there i was not expecting that so wheel of fate from time spiral this one should be a little bit yeah five bucks let's see time spiral 489 Chromatic Star, that's worth pulling. Yeah, for a uh, common 425 for a Chromatic Star, that's decent. Bobble, Stealth Suit, and a Skull of Orm from the Dark. Uh, I don't think this is a big one. Uncommon, 54 cents. We're going to keep it. All right, and a Kark Clan Ironworks, good old KCI. Um, still five bucks on the low. Um, they've of course been banned, so now they've come down. And yeah, but I'm sure they're still useful, right? I don't know. This one's seen some play. Whoa, that's not too bad. Even if even with some play, personal incarnation from Unlimited. Um, that's definitely like he yeah, like heavy play. Uh, I don't think anyone would take that as moderate play. Let's see what it's gonna scan at. So fourth edition would have been four cents. The unlimited version. That says $9.99, but uh, clearly not going to get that for it. Um, maybe more like three, four, maybe five pushing it. But it's interesting that it's in here. Hmm, is there any more unlimited stuff in here?
Got some bulk stuff here. Uh, that one's no, but Mycosynth Lattice has been on its way up. Whoo! That's the low price? Hold on a second. TCG player low, 57.49, a mid of 65. Trade in 24, so the low price is maybe a realistic price to sell it on eBay or something. So you tell me down below, I know you will. But it, currently it goes right there. That's a that's a keeper. A chroma. A couple bucks. Um, there's the couple buck pile. Whoa! Legend stuff. Unholy Citadel. All your black legends gain bands with other legends. Pretty useful card, maybe in 1994. Today, not so much. It's an uncommon. Um, but love seeing legends cards. Uh, Shizo, Death's Storehouse. That's a winner too. 11 bucks there. Cool. Okay, apparently back when dry eyed arbors were just a dollar. But they should be a little better now. Twelve fifty, that's the low again. See I remember them being about ten bucks for the mid. Fourteen ninety nine on the mid. Sixteen on the market. They've gone up quite a bit. Trade in high. Twelve bucks. So these things are going up. Uh, fantastic. A couple of I think it was two of those, yeah. Um Add another one. Yes, I'm taking them out of the sleeves because that's how I deal with them. Uh, Phyrexian Arena from 9th edition. Eight bucks. All right, 9th edition. Still eight bucks. Great. Dread! Oh, this is a cool card. For six, you get a six six with fear. Whenever a creature deals damage to you, destroy it. When Dread is put into a graveyard from anywhere, shuffle it into its owner's library. Yeah, that's hard to play around probably. Four bucks. Not bad. Hey, a foil snow-covered swamp. Great. As a foil. Six. Count them. Six dollars. Ooh, foil intervention packed. Great. I'd definitely rather have a pact of negation than foil. That's not bad either. Uh, Drowned Catacomb from Ixland. So this collection, a lot of older stuff, but they kind of filled out with some newer things here. So <laughs> I'm loving it. Trinisphere. Oh, that's something. Um, yeah, a little bit of 
play. It's honestly still near mint. 44 on the low? I think everyone's gonna say, oh, your app is broken. The mid price 47, the market 33. So I don't know, the low is going crazy. The trade in is only 17. So I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm doing the low price. It's showing it 44. I know it's probably not real. They've been probably trading for like 30 something, right? So take it with a grain of salt. I'm not trying to pull a fast one here. Okay, everyone, I'm moving on, continuing on. Um, back at it the next day. Um, this was kind of interesting. Just last night, Wayfarer's Bobble, um, the commander version, spiked. Um, and it kind of brought up the Fifth Dawn version a little bit with it. So they're uh, still only 38 cents for the low price. That's going to come off my list, but I'm going to pick them all. They're going to stay out of my bulk box. So, uh, I'm going to start with that. Shell Dock Isle from Lorwyn, 697. Trinosphere. So I'm going to actually find this on the list so I can add it. There it is. Um, it's currently got a low price of 44 bucks. So. I'm going to add one and my total jumps quite a bit so another one of those great um, Lindula's Vault from Alliance is great it's a good card there three bucks on the low price later Vesuva though was a awesome card scan it yeah it was like 30 some bucks at this point another card I think that's going up in price altered dementia yeah tempest rare 679 this one's got a little bit of play uh, definitely like some to moderate up oh, there's actually like junk on that. It's either heavy play or yeah, I don't know if anyone would like to call that one heavy play. Let's see. Will we count it? Nah. I'm going to take it off the list. It's not a good one. So, there you go. Reflecting pool. Wow, 12 bucks. So, uh, Wasteland is not the only good land out of Tempest, I guess. Good, cool. A couple of those. Vesuva, again, awesome. But bing. There goes another one of those. And a Cabal Coffers. 
Got a little play, just slight play. 34. Awesome. Can't do the math. Skull clamp. Four bucks there. Great. Um, seismic assault was really not a whole lot. And life from the loam. Ten bucks. Oh, hold on. Still ten bucks. Great. So there's still some good stuff in here. Um, summoner's pack. Cool. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one's been kind of creeping up for a while, too. Excellent. Uh, Expanse, no. Sappy Eric's daughter. Cool. Time spiral. Um, Ley line of anticipation. Oh, my. Um, I don't think... Is that one of the big ley lines? Let's take a look. That's pretty good. 16 bucks. Any other ley lines in here? Let's find out. Trick bind. This one's got some edging. Bing. It was a little bit. I can't remember. Lightning Greaves. And this one is definitely like moderate play. Maybe even heavy. But we're going to count it. Intervention Pact. There's a buck. Coat of Arms. Cool. Yeah, um, it's ninth edition. Same thing. Just plugging right along here. Welding jar again. Another trick find. Bing. Parallel thoughts. I can't remember. Yeah, it was nothing. That one goes over here. Stasis. It's a fourth edition stasis right there. Yeah, three bucks and buck fifty. Garrick Wild Speaker, the original from Lorwyn. That's like mint. Yeah, five bucks. Cool. There's a buck and uh, another. Did I already find one? A mycosynth lattice? But bing! Yeah, I think it's about 60 bucks now. And again, spiked like overnight. Ah, amazing. Uh, that's. What else can I say? It's awesome. Phyrexian Arena. Fate Spinner. Four bucks there, cool. Um, Proteus Staff. I guess we found them before already, I forget, so I think they were like six, seven bucks now. Another Proteus Staff. Levine. There it goes. Another Proteus staff. But be Next page is more good stuff. Okay, great. Unbelievable, honestly. Um, <clears throat> I know I saw this stuff in the pictures, um, but I should have really got my calculator out. I I knew it was more than what I paid for it, but I didn't know it was going to be. Wait, this good this is uh this is an awesome awesome buy i mean if you can't already tell <laughs> especially since this is all low price uh at the end i'm going to switch it and see what it would look like at market and uh maelstrom gin was nothing diabolic intent is already on the list at like six something right there it goes Skull Clamp is a good one. 
Wand of Ith in the dark. I don't know if that's a rare or not. It sounds like a rare. It's an uncommon. Um, nothing really big out of the dark from this binder. Which is interesting. Mind Slaver. Did we already find one of those? It almost seems like... Okay. I guess that was the first one we found. Uh, Cabal Coffers. Another one of those. Thing. 39 or so. And another one. Bing. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Contagion Engine, that's a good one. Yeah, wow. On the low price? That thing's been like, I thought, 10 bucks mid price forever. 17 on the mid, so another one that's spiking. Great. Glad to have it. Pain Seer. No, that one didn't spike. And a Rootbound Crag. Those are always good. Couple bucks there. Awesome. All right, next page. Uh, student of Warfare, a foil one. This might be okay. Let's see if we can see it. Sometimes it doesn't like. It. There we go. Student of Warfare, three bucks on the regular. As a foil, it's 344. So not much of a multiplier on that. Uh, that's funny. Uh, but it's still pullable. Parametra. Okay, finally got something decent here. Dwinnin's Elite as a foil. Eh. 8.50? Really? Um, that's a low price. Mid of 11. Okay, well, I guess somebody wants this in their Elves deck. When Dwinnin's Elite enters the battlefield, if you control another Elf, put another Elf out. Yeah, okay. I guess that makes sense. So, um, that's good value on a foil. Great. Um, Pit Dragon, but a gemstone mine. I think we had found these before already. Time Spiral version. Time Shifted, sorry. 15 bucks. Great. Did we not already find some of those? Let me check. Yeah, gemstone mine. There was already three on the list, and so there's a fourth one. Fantastic. Uh, hey, uh, Birds of Paradise. It's a revised version. Deep Sea Kraken is nothing really, I'm sure. Uh, the BOP. Boy, I wish that was an unlimited, but it's just a revised. 948 still. Very decent. Darkness. 
Bing, and we had seen those before, and they were like six bucks or so. Lure of Prey from Mirage might be a rare. It is a couple bucks. Cool. Another bulk. Now, Dictative Erebus should be a little bit. One of the better cards out of Journey into Nyx. And at uh, seven bucks low, that's not bad. Dick Broke 1500, Glacial Fortress. Great. And more Contagion Engines. And a Mirror Welder. One. Hold on. Two. These were like 13 bucks each, right? Or 11 or something. Three more Contagion Engines. Fantastic. Uh, we're awake. Buck 68. Okay. Last page. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, still some decent stuff here. Realms Uncharted. Not, it looks like the same deal as the Gifts Ungiven. She's just hanging out there. Three bucks though, that's not bad. Uh, we got a counter spell, revised. Uh, another Trick Bind, which was like three bucks or so. Another Realms Uncharted. Magnetic Mine, seven cents as a rare by itself as a foil. 19 cents! Not gonna count. Um, okay, fine. Amir Turban, that's a buck. And a Birds of Paradise from 10th edition, I'm sorry, M10, is the difference. Um, great, it's awesome. Five bucks, hold on, that's the reprint version. M10, still five bucks. Great. Okay, that is it. 217 cards ending up on a TCG player low price of 1571 on my original gamble of 493, including the shipping. Slam dunk, people. Uh, I was not sure how this was going to go. It was strange how it was organized. Uh, it didn't really look like a proper collection. It was definitely, I guess, a trade binder. It is really just all it can uh, describe it as. And just not, not a whole lot of organization to it for some reason. So, um, great. Happy. Awesome. Oh, one last thing I was going to do is just for fun and see what this would have been on the TCG market price. Um, you know, just to see. Let's do that. Boom! Would have been 1941. So maybe we're somewhere in the middle there, but let's call it 1500 and some. Three times my money back. Who can argue with that? Feel free to do so down below if you'd like. In the comments and uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff thanks for watching tragic mtg see you later